think that would be best. Knife, bow, armor. Hide armor. 109 versus. Okay, it's just a straight up upgrade. Nothing, nothing more than that. That's the same for her. Uh, she has studded, which is a, more agility. Yeah, that's more important for her. I would probably say. Let's see. Morion, which is just more armor. Death resistance. Gotcha. Uh, weapons. Let's look at that. Meh. I mean, isn't death could be cool, but that's like super low. If I remember correctly, uh, I'd have to look at what the percentages is, but I think that's like. I know the first one is like. For most ass ailments, it's like 8%, and then it's halved after that point. And I think for this one, it's half that? I think I think death is half that, I don't know offhand. Which would basically make that uh, 4%, like a 6% chance right there. And she has better shit that she can use her son. I mean, Heaven Bow's definitely better. That's a minor, minor upgrade. The crit chance, I think, is better. Though I think that that's kind of like that. I think crit might be just like 844 or something like that. But I think it's, it, I think it resets on different ones. I don't know. So like the second one could be 844 as well. I don't remember exactly how it works in this. Anyways, um, a knife for four slots, which is awesome, but um, anybody I'm giving a knife to doesn't need a high, high damage, they'd be probably using this thing because it's a lot easier. <laughs> so that doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, so nothing specific aside from getting more armor for a couple of my party members. Hairpin. Alright, oh, hairpin. Jeez. He's had that for so long. Don't I have something else with tech on it? That. Oh, right. Never mind. Stone shell. Hmm. Right. I'd have to go out of my way to get that, and I'm lazy. So he's fine. He can still take hits just fine because of being in the back row. So there's no worries. Sound tuning. Oh, right, yeah. I'm gonna hold on to that for now until I know for a fact that I'm not bumping the head binding. That is still good. Even she could probably get some good use out of that. It also increases her speed too. Because armor does have a speed penalty on it. Let's see, 109 versus. That'd be a minor increase, but the HP and TP, I think, are actually better. Hmm. Versus just straight up 109. Hmm. You know what? I'm, going, I'm giving her that. I think it's actually better for her. Versus... I, her Dama armor, which... Yeah, whatever. Iron plate. Might as well just give that to someone else. I'm thinking about it. Uh, she's fine. She already has one. I don't really care about their equipment too much. Yep. Nope. Right, well, right, yeah, okay. That works. Can you... Oh, right, someone... Yeah, he actually needs fucking TP because he eats it like crazy. It's not like I actually have him at his highest speed. Yes, he has 56. Oh, that only go. Oh, right, yeah, it's percentile. It's not. It's not a straight up like you get X amount of TP. It's percentile, meaning my classes don't get very much TP. They're still not going to get very much TP out of it. Uh, well, that is 20. Wait. Uh, for him, that's 22. How much would it be on someone like, uh, Xiao? 
Yeah. And Zhao doesn't actually need TP. He, does, he almost never runs out of it. Adric, on the other hand. Yeah, he's also very TP hungry, but usually I'm not, I'm not using him for fights that are going to be long and prolonged anyways. So yeah, whatever. We'll store that thing for now. I might have a use for it later. Oh, I can get rid of the leather, though. Let's see if we can get back to where we were <laughs> quickly again. So it looks like we're in another FOE puzzle, yay. I'll make do. <laughs> um. In case anybody didn't catch that, um, I, for I I just realized that I had just forgotten my to buy the thread. But I don't want to go back. I'm lazy. Depending on how this labyrinth goes, I might. I'm, it looks like I'm nearing the end of it anyway, so I should be fine. Keyword should. I don't think I'm gonna have too many problems left. And then I get ambushed and get blasted again, like last time. Me. I don't want to waste my inventory space. Okay, good. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. Not good already. <laughs> oh, why did I go that way? <laughs> well, there's more than one of you. Oh no. And I can't kill you because I need you alive for puzzles. I'm pretty sure I could take them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> And this is when we need to put um, that one thing. Full retreat, yes. Let's put that somewhere on here. So I can just, um, you know, run away. Why would you do this to me, game? For what discernible reason would you do this? Oh. Perhaps I can escape. Yes. Aha. It appears this was my cunning plan all along. Yes. Quite. Now, this one won't actually follow after me while I go murder this one. <laughs> it's the perfect plan. Because it's going to be busy on that one down there. <laughs> oh, it's a desolar. That makes sense. I have no idea what they're weak to. Let's Venom throw it. <laughs> uh, always been weak to fly. Let's just do lightning. Lightning's always been the sure bet. Arm snipe. Is, yeah. Let's put nerve. Yay. Hmm. If it weren't for that first attack, I probably could have killed it. It really didn't have very much HP considering how Juliana's uh, poisons managed to take down as that much. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? How did I know that I was gonna do that too? There's a fucking angry bear right behind me. Fair game. That's not fair. <laughs> okay. The semi should be better. Cause I'm not getting getting chased by both of them at the same time. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. Well, granted, last time it was because I got an encounter like right here when I was right directly behind me, but that's still. There. Made it. Yep, there's the last part. Because, of course, it was right there. I just had... I had a feeling it was pretty much right there. I mean, granted, there's really not much else down here. I'm just wondering what's down this spot. Why did I mark, why did I mark it right there? Great altar! Inscribed on the monument. King's throne. Yes. Past Master Gears eventually comes to halt. Nothing seems to have changed. As you're wondering about that, the sound of an enormous bell shakes the entire labyrinth. You grow anxious to hear its ringing, as if it tells a warning that something dangerous is afoot. Eventually, the dolorous sound stops. You have activated all four of the king's emblems now. This means gaining the necessary credentials. Then the credentials you have certainly won. 
He wondered if he should return now to the Forgotten Capital to see if there's a change in the King's Gate. Yeah, I could probably progress now. What's down here? Also made sure to buy some thread this time. Ah, treasure. Nectar 2. Cool. Uh, there's no way reason to stick around here. Oh, yeah. I should probably look at, the, like, the, this kind of thing. That's far away, so I'll get that later. <laughs> there's probably something interesting in there. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, run away. Oh, I've got like three fights on the way down there. Alright, so the stuff I picked up. I'm fine. I'm going TP, so I might as well just save and nothing else. That's good enough. Okay. Yes, let's go. Grab some foods. Uh, what was it? I'm trying to remember what the good food around here was. Aren't you annoying? Fine, I don't I don't want it anyways. Meanie. Milky goats and furry goats. Uh, oh right, yeah. This one oh, yeah, yes, yes. That works. Kinda wanna know what the oh right, the birds I think had experience up or something. Something like that. They usually do. Right, door should be openable now. Maybe we can actually progress. We revisit the King's Gate, and the troop of soldiers left here are talking amongst themselves with excitement. You approach them. Ah, oh, you're back. I'm glad to see you return safely. Wilbur's here in front of the gates waiting for you. He's looking up at the giant portal alongside the other Imperial soldiers. That giant bell filled me with dread, so I returned here. And lo and behold, it's just as I thought. As you can see, the emblems on the gate are glowing now. I assume you gained the king's credentials. Lurker smiles darkly at you. At any rate, the stone gates will no longer bar your passage. A new leg of your journey awaits you. This is where I must leave things to you, including his imperial highness. He has come too far to stop himself. After nodding the logo, you face the sizable door. The imperial soldiers give a crisp salute to see you off as you proceed through the gates. Except not yet. I want to hit up this thing so I can keep my food buffs. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right, right, I need to pay attention because you can't tell like that. I only just remembered that. So that's, so it actually is important to actually check every wall again. Oh, poison, no! Also bats, which are usually weak to like, have I fought these things? No. Uh, they're usually, bats are usually weak to lightning. Okay, um, so I create the bat, um, I'm to kill one of the butterflies in the back, because those things I find to be the most threatening. Unfortunately, I can't lightning ruin them, from because it's a front row only thing. They're not weak to lightning anyways, so it's not like that really matters too much. I'm going to get out my and see if I get lucky. Uh, we to that. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, bat summon allies, great. And my entire party's poisoned, that's fucking fantastic. I got the dinghy, so I know that. How about we steal arrow you? I went to sleep, so that, yep. Went to sleep, which canceled out whatever actions I was going to try to do that turn. Okay, uh, it was Olga who leveled up, gotcha. Right, uh, so going for that crit. I'm trying to remember what I was doing again. Okay, so, 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 so. Looks like that just goes like that. something move. Oh, I did. <laughs> uh, evil looking flower. Oh, never mind. Oh, I see. I also marked that wrong. Of course I did. No! Not that. Alright, wait. Right. So if I'm taking a guess, it's probably going to be like that. Is there any the other holes I saw? So what, I'm supposed to try to figure out how to sneak past this thing? Or just straight up murder it. Hello. I saw the door was over here, so. I wish, I wish Juliana had that one move. That put enemies to sleep. <laughs> well, well, no, no, she does. Well, no, I mean like deals more damage against death and and stuff. Because that would be fucking fantastic right about now. Let's just murder it anyways. Oh, assassinate it, yes! It's, it's under Assassin, so it has a like 60% chance of going off or some shit. And she's fast enough that she should go first. <laughs> Good shit. Otherwise, Yaksha would have an absolute field day with that type of fight. Because I haven't built purely around supporting Xiao with that stuff.
keep that in mind. I heard that. Splat. Not sure if it actually means anything. Oh yeah, I know its weaknesses now. Oh, it doesn't have any. Okay. Wow, it has a lot of health, too. That makes sense. So I guess just prepare ahead, just in case. Let's see, I see how much of the Shit. Man, the thing's dangerous. You know, dead end is no more is is more brightly lit than the other areas. Looking around, you see lens like rock fix, fixing your ceiling, amplifying sunlight. You have no way of knowing who made or why. This spot is bathed in a warm sunshine. It's quite cozy. You can rest here if you like. The atmosphere seems slightly suspect. If you and you may wish to leave. I'm fine. Further where recklessness can put one's life at risk in the lab, you decide to quickly walk away. Yeah, the spot's still there. It looks like. Considering how it's like, oh, there's been a bunch of these sleepy lions that happen to be around this area. I wonder if they're more awake. I'm actually wondering if those lions are actually awake at night. Being one of the few enemies that are actually affected by the day and night cycle. I tried moving forward just to see if that if that was even an option. Okay, I didn't actually check down there. Or did I? Bad memory. And blood surged. Okay. Juliana didn't do her thingy that I was hoping that she would do.
Sorry, I just survived, jeez. I was not expecting that. Of course, it's two characters, one on each line. Whatever. Oh, there's a door right here. I was about to say, watch as there's a secret spot right here. Let's check this spot first. Oh, good thing I checked it first. There's treasure. Oh, it's night. That means the lions might be awake now. Nope, they're not awake. That's good to know. We'll vanguard you, just in case. Assassinate. We'll make it weak to lightning. We'll arm snipe it since you go next. And we will try to... Yeah. And... and die. Damn, this isn't working too well. Yeah, attack normally, that's actually just fine. And put it right back to sleep. Susceptible to the sleep status, that's a good thing. Oh, wait, no, it's probably just like that. Alright, what's inside? These are usually good big things. Commander's boots. Quick step level one. Oh, quick step. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. That. That's a good one. That, that's actually a good one. Quick step is. No, not on you. You're the character that's not, that, that's not really going to help out too much. <laughs> the support characters, on the other hand. Maybe not for this part. Maybe for the other party. I could see uses for that. Maybe put it on Shao or something. So they can have a specific party member move first when needed. Yeah, that could work really well with combining with Monami so that I can actually have her get Star Drop on the first hit. But then that wouldn't work too well for um, Reika's build. For the re re damage reduction. It depends on how much Starfall is by comparison to... Um, her um, buff for increasing accuracy and stuff whenever she gets the first hit. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, but yeah, that's the that's the skill equivalent of um, first turn from Metrinasi one. So I don't think it's guaranteed to be first turn. I just think it just increases their speed. It's not like you could just put one point into it and then it's like instant. That character always goes first on the next turn. Like it was in EO1. As amazingly busted. Ooh. Ooh. Unfortunately, the, um, the thing that went off on Julian has absolutely no effect on that. Curses. Assassinate, kill it. Holy gift this shit. 
if possible. It is in case it still lives. You actually lower its physical power just in case. Damn it. I was really banking on that. You attack normally, maybe we might be able to get it back to sleep again. Oh right, it goes first. Shit. You can't see it, but you can feel my disappointment. Alright, give her a Medica 3. Oh, Met Ooh, Medica 3s have already been outclassed. Jeez. That was fast? Oh, 4s are full HP, gotcha. Okay. So you're the Imperial Prince in the medium, you know something on the ground entangled in vines. It is drawn near a sickening realization of what it is dawns upon you. It is an Imperial soldier infected with the Titan's curse, in what looks to be a gr gruesomely advanced stage. It seems he has lost his sight already. He is muttering deliriously. What is the matter, Kurohana? Hm? That man. A hulking figure steps between you and the immobile Imperial soldier. He is the leader of the Sentinels, Bushi Kib Kibagami. He definitely examines the soldier's condition. Seems Kibigami and his group of Bushi have been c conducting their own search through the labyrinth. Seems the Titan's curse has its way with them. We can't leave him here. I'll carry him out. He must go on ahead. If the Imperial Prince is further inside, he may be even in worse state. Leave the Imperial Soldier in Kibigami's care and hurry onward. If I heard that. Getting very squishy up ahead. Water. Ah, I see another. I see another one of them plant effluies. There's probably something up with that water. Like I can't step in it, or it's like the mud tiles in tip four and in three. I can imagine either or. Sticky threads. Okay. Well, I got no choice now. Okay, Vanguard. Okay, I I got an idea of how to fight it anyway. So um, same. Try to lower its accuracy. Uh, it's probably weak to fire because it's a flower. Just to guess. Uh. Arm. To stop his tentacles. Um, nerve just to at least try to potentially slow it down. Oh, good. Proof link. Okay, so it's got that. Attack normally for now. Green, green. Oh, snipe. Did I get something? Um. Just heal for right now.
unleash hell upon it. Use fighting slice because that should do more damage. Range fire to one. Squall. Oh, good, he can't dodge attacks when it's blinded. He was gonna start fight poisoning. Oh wow, that was a nice nuke. Thanks, Rain. Okay, cool. That worked out well. Well, getting a little low on the TP side, but otherwise fine. All right, two characters sold though. Juliana, let's see, what was I doing with you again? Oh, right, auto spread. Increase the option of doing that. And then, then I guess I can start going for Shadow Bite so you can get some extra damage in. Once we're get knowing when the things are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you don't have anything in here that I care about. Okay, so so. Rain, rain was not that. Uh, okay, it was him. Well, I guess I can, I can ignore the gimmick of this. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. It places it down. Gotcha. Okay. It's not just always there. It's just something that, that uh, FOE places down to keep you from moving so it can catch you. Gotcha. Okay. This one because these ones seem to be the more difficult ones to get to, meaning it's probably not the correct way. Probably, well, I can already see that. It looks to be two squares plus. Well, it looks like we know where that door leads. Okay, maybe not two squares. It's kind of hard to tell. I can at least tell that much. Ooh, treasure, yay. Go figure. <laughs> Why you gotta make me sad, game? I thought I was going for treasure. Yeah. Let's not. Sleepy Lion's already spooky enough. Boy, that's not cool. Eh! Run! Thank you. I didn't want to do that one because that seemed to be a bit too risky. OK. 
Okay. Of course. Always gotta tease me. Or don't tell me I went the actual correct way. <laughs> By thinking too hard. Did I really go the actual correct way? By thinking that there's no way that th this spot up here was the real way. Another shortcut. Okay, cool. Uh, that's manageable. Maybe, hopefully. Not Inferno. Blame. Let's try to avoid using too much. Too much CP at this point. It exploded, but it didn't actually hurt me. Good. Because that would have made me very sad. I know the perfect one did that one or that one. Activated, yay! Quite a long ways. My party's a hurting a little bit. Yeah, it might be best to just run back. I'm not even going to bother even walking. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I could have sworn I bought one. Whatever. Whatever. It's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> there was a possibility I could have gotten ambushed right there and died horribly. Yay, cash money, hero thing, she didn't. Struggle, Arcana Rod, Leather, Sabatons, Unihorns. Yeah, I want to give that to somebody on the other team. Probably shall. Because he could probably be one of the ones that could best use it. Because putting out a Monomy herself is not going to help her. Oh, right, Ivy Anklets. That's right, he did have that for, for luck. He won't be able to even bother using that. Um, I don't really need Aurora Veal. 
Oh, right, he needs boots. Curses. Eh, it's just three luck, whatever. That's more useful in terms of helping out my party. When I eventually start using this party, anyways. I mean, they're kind of just standing there, but they're not high enough level to handle this dungeon, so. First things first. There. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I used two of my nectar, so I'm actually running low on those now. Armor! Okay, so let's look at the actual armor I got. General leather. Ooh. That's from the pedal, gotcha. Got some nice HP you got there. Spirit cape is what she currently has. Why does she have a spirit cape again? Oh, right, yeah, because HP TP. It'd be more HP, obviously. Uh, our current set of leather, which is 3 to agility, 82, 117 HP. Hmm. This would probably help out um, other characters more so. Like you. What is it? What was it, Dama? That's not a. Oh, it's right here. All oh, right, death resistance, right? 122 death resistance versus 117, so like five less defense for more HP. A pretty hefty amount, like 30 more HP, which is better than the four, five armor, I'd imagine. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. You can have that. Okay, so... Alright. Uh, what else did I get? Sabaton. Uh, yeah. No. Okay, so... Hand-me-downs. Um, she just got... Right, you can only have cloth, so we wouldn't be able to equip it anyways. He was like the secondary one I was thinking of putting it on. Which would be great for her. <laughs> but anyways, um... Hard to say which one's technically better. That's better for that. Or, well, I guess it doesn't matter which ones are main hand and which ones are off hand. I'll be our main hand. The other one will be our off hand. Gotcha. Okay. The counter rod. Meh. She didn't. Okay. Oh yeah, is there anybody on my... Actually, now I think about it, probably not. Not really. Like, what I want to put on her stuff is stun and nothing else. When I get her, get around to actually doing more stuff with Alana, she's just kind of been sitting around for a while. Same with Beatrice. Alright. Since I'm technically, truly in this... Seeing busy, I can tell the Karana crew's in the middle of this whole fiasco. Hey, can you promise me one thing? Just tell me you'll come back from this in one piece. If any of these end up dead, I'll haunt you forever. Let's check everybody. Check on everybody. Welcome back, Jerry's. I see your journey's nearing the end. Does that sound right? 
Easy to tell how hard you've been working. You've had deli some delicious goat meat in, so I'll cook something that'll raise your spirits for the next outing. Okay, well, we might have more quests too. Not like I decided to take the taking the Imperial people. A few of them were just introducing themselves. They're also earnest. It's a sign of how deep the troubles of their homeland run. But Tharsis may be so has so many happy-go-lucky people, not the least of which is the Count himself. Are we a good fit? Dude, I'm all sticky. You guys better watch out for the Ruffle... Ah. Ruffle Sia in the Forgotten Capital. The gross thing spits sticky acid on its spray and paralyzes them. Then struts in with its tentacles. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. It was horrible. Just horrible. Look how bumpy this one is. It's an ice bulb drop. You can turn the ice bulb... To if you can turn an ice bulb to stone and defeat it, this is the result. Okay, I don't have anybody that can actually do stone. wonder if I plant the seed in my garden. Will an ice bulb grow? That's all of ice bulbs. How exciting. Oh, did you hear the latest? The son of a friend of Miss Kerbo's cousin who lives on the main street as an explorer. A group of vampire bats sucked the blood clean from his body, and now he wanders the city as a vampire. You guys should watch out for any bats like that you see. They joke, but there actually is a vampire class in Nexus. It's got sort of kind of a weird hidden class kind of thing. I think you just have to have a very specific item equipped and suddenly you're a vampire class, which I think only just changes your burst abilities. And you can get a nifty portrait. That makes you look like Alucard from Castlevania. Okay, here we go. He was found in the Echoing Library. It's likely used for the Forgotten Capital at Eggersville. Someone solved this mystery. Do you want to the request from the Imperial researcher sitting over there? I think you should ask the client directly for more information. And the other one? The one investigate an ancient being referenced in a newly discovered document, and if necessary, defeat it. For a new bow. Where's from the outline count about the marks? He supposedly found a new document. Wonder what he'll have you looking for this time. You'll need to visit him at the Grand Court to find out. You accepted my request? Oh, thank you. The key. An Imperial Knight found it in the Echoing Library. It must be... It must be used in the Forgotten Capital. I want you to find out what the key is used for. Is that alright? Thank you. Good luck. Okay. I haven't found any locked doors that would need... Right? The Forgotten Capital. No, the Forgotten Capital is the fifth stratum. I was thinking, because I do remember there being a locked door somewhere, but I think I might have opened that or something. Hmm. I don't remember. Don't remember. Huh, whatever. Ah, oh, the Kuro Hanago. You're going, aren't you? Everything you've trained for un until now, time has come for you to put to the test. Just have no fear and believe in yourselves. The things you've learned on your journey weren't for nothing. Credentials from the Four Kings, eh? Looks like you're finally back to the Forgotten Capital. Surely you're much stronger than the last time you were there, no? It's quite a roundabout way of opening one door, but you're almost there. Stay sharp, Karahana. Oh, oh yes, the request. I think it, I think it'd be fortunate that you were the ones accepted. The explorer who was investigating the ru ruins within the labyrinth like yourselves found an odd slate. This is what it says. Please pay close attention. Water drills the earth, changing form. Earth blocks wind, changing paths. Wind blows out fire, changing light. What does fire do? Only fire can erase it. Thus balance is maintained. The Ancient One is its protector. Those who enter its realm will face its judgment. That is it. I wonder about that last part. Oh, those who enter its realm face judgment from the Ancient One. I worry about this Ancient One may be a threat to soldiers and explorers. If so, we may have to eliminate it. That's why I wanted to solve the uh, riddle of the slate and find out what this ancient one is. Hmm. Four marks that you noticed it. Marks that. Yeah. Just relate to one another. I think there might be a connection to the marks you discovered. Look at the first line water changes earth. So, water, earth. Wind, fire. That, that, I didn't even mark what each one was. I should probably write this down. Haha. -ha. 
Let's see. Water. Earth. Wind. Fire. So you notice the marks. Let's see. Probably should have like marked them as I found them, but didn't think too much about it. Earth, C2. So uh, C2 is what? A water. Fire. Wait, no, C2. Wait. Oh, A2, five, five. Okay, so this is Earth. <laughs> and that's what, that, right, that's wind. I think well, I can just move it like that. Fire. Uh, earth. Water. Fire. Wind. Okay. Well, I guess I go visit all of those. Take care of that. What, go save Wigloff. Of course, you have an FOE fighting you. Maybe, I, I guess. Sounds fun. It's no longer head down. How rude. Anyways, as I was doing, okay, so let's see, water was, uh, that one, yeah. So when you go, water, so we need to do, 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 I guess.
something I'm missing. It's not the silly spots in the labyrinth, are they? Are they? Ooh, shiny. And I'm making exceptions when these things are shiny. And now for the kill. Did I kill one of them? Oh, okay. Oh, those must have been the other FOEs in the area. Okay. So they're different from the one that was up there. Okay. I, I, I didn't even know that, but okay. That, that's fine. Of course, good. Okay. It was the wrong skill. No! Curses! I meant power boost. So well, that's a wasted skill point. How sad. After seeing how much damage this does, getting it to getting it to a second level sounds pretty nice. Damn, I don't want to reload the save either, because <laughs> that was a golden one and those don't come up very often. Oh well, not a big deal. I'll, I'll just be a little sad about it. Oh, hi. I thought we should meet this way. We had some business with you. Okay. He you from the city square. Usually wig locks with him. Prepared a piece of equipment for your skyship that you, uh, hope you will find. It's a twin propeller. For this thing, you can give your skyship a sh short speed boost. It helps, comes in handy. Oh! It lets me get past those, uh, windy spots, doesn't it? We talked it over, and we help, helped it out that we made it for you. Waiting for, it's waiting at the city gates. Take the two of them for their gift and make another step. Check your sky ship. That's good. Okay, we got a new thingy. A new sword. What's it do? What's it do? Katana. Agility, agility, HP. Meh. Rest up. Even if I did already save. Uh, we'll just do ignore tornadoes and just not be dumb. Grim propeller. Oh, oh, I just have it anyways. Okay, so you just have it. That's cool. Oh, 
Let's give it a test and make sure that it does exactly what I think it does. Okay, maybe not. Oh, it's because I have the dowsing rods equipped. I can only have one of those things equipped that time. Gotcha. Oh, hi. You just have to show up right now, asshole. And then I run around waiting for you to show up so I can actually grind my other party members up. Which I might do, actually, because considering how it just showed up, that means it's guaranteed to show up if I reload my save. Meaning I can actually grind up my other party members a tad bit more. Hmm. If only just a little. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Whatever. 